What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. Actually, I posted this story probably about a week ago, but what happened was um, the other video that I posted, it had a, um, a video that I, was, I played in the video and it had some music in it and they had a like, copy, you know, uh, write claim on the music that's playing inside the video. So what I had to do was take that video down. So I'm redoing this video, you know, based off of another uh, network actually. But uh, the video entails a lady by the name of um, Cynthia Obi. You understand? And uh, a DC lady, as a matter of fact. And uh, she went to like MGM uh, Casino and what have you. And uh, she won a large, large, large jackpot. The way they make it sound, you know. But the thing is, is this. They turned around and reneged on her, you know, because they... they behind some uh, complications because some idiot that didn't take her social security number down right got one digit number one digit wrong you know of her social security number now they're trying to rip her off and not pay her off let's get into this video and then we'll dissect the story casino at MGM National Harbor, but not getting all of your cash because the casino made a mistake. It happened to a local woman who won thousands playing the slots. Lauren DeMarco is live tonight with this Fox 5 exclusive. Lauren? Right, everybody comes here to MGM National Harbor hoping to win the jackpot. And when this one woman did, yes, imagine her disappointment when she walked out without any money. It's all because casino staff says that they got her social security number wrong. I was excited, very excited. I was like, I need this money. <laughs> when Cynthia Obi saw the winning symbols line up on the slot machine she was playing, she was ecstatic. Right after the holidays, several thousand dollars would certainly come in handy. She doesn't want us to disclose the exact amount, but it happened this past Friday during a night out at MGM with a friend. She's been to a number of casinos and, of course, is always hoping but never expecting to win big. Following regulations before handing her the cash, MGM staff took her ID and personal information, but misread her social security number by one digit. The person whose number they plugged into their database apparently owed the state of Maryland a lot of child support. So Cynthia's winnings were immediately confiscated. And I'm like, no, all of my daughters are grown. I've never paid child support before. This can't be right. By the time they realized the social security number error, it was too late. And instead of her winnings that night, Cynthia says she left with a letter instructing her to sort it out with Maryland's Human Services Agency, which handles child support. This week, she took time off work and spent more than an hour at their office, but left without any answers. Frustrated, but now I'm at the point of like, this is insane. Just give me my money. I mean, it's a billion dollar corporation. Just write off a check. You guys do the research. I want fair and square. I just want my money. So MGM sent us a statement saying that they apologize to Cynthia for the error. It goes on to say, due to Maryland Lottery and Gaming Control Agency rules and Maryland state law, we cannot provide an additional payout for this jackpot. However, if she presents the proper identification credentials to the Maryland Gaming Commission, they will provide her with the appropriate payment. Now, Cynthia only has 15 days to sort this out. So tonight, she said she's just continuing to try to cut through the red tape. Back to the studio. Okay, well, you know, it's plain to see to me that they're giving Cynthia some bull. You understand what I mean? And that's just all there is to it. They reneging on, you know, uh, services rendered, you know, and everything. Uh, this woman, they owe this woman. And that's just all there is to it. You know, it's really hard to hit on those machines. And she had those machines line up like that. And it sounds like she had maximum on them. I'm telling you, every now and again, me and my wife, we used to go, you know, to this casino and stuff like that. And every, you know, first, you know, when we first started going, uh, we did all right. You know, the, the trip was worth the while. Then all of a sudden that changed, you know. So I got to the point to where, you know, I don't go anymore. I don't want to go because I'm not I don't have money just to give those people. I'm not that, you know, infatuated with the razzle dazzle of the machines. because That's what it all boils down to. When you see those lights and all that kind of stuff and them little sound that the machine make. When those uh, numbers or whatever, you know, line up, I mean, it is fun, 
You know, it's intriguing. And you just looking to hit, you know, for some money. But then when you find situations like this, you know, when you do hit, you know, and everything, and now they want to renege on the payment. That's not cool. So, and the thing is, is this too, you know, I believe that probably, I know I see when I go there, I see a lot of white people, you know, in those places, but I, a lot of times, I see them win. I see a lot of them win. You know, they all, you look around the room and you hear them shouting and everything. You, they get the Walt Disney moment. I'm serious. But then you look around and I'm not being funny when I say this, say this, you see black people putting their money in these machines and the machines ain't paying. They rig the hell out of those machines. It's something they're doing to those machines and I know it. See? And see, the thing is, too, I believe if uh, black people were to boycott um, a lot of these casinos or whatever, they'll lose a lot of revenue. You know? They will lose a lot of revenue because I believe a lot of, again, just like everything else in this country, black people are the foundation of their prosperity. You want to know the truth about it. So let's get into the story and dissect it a little bit. Let's, you, we pretty much know everything that took place, but, you know, I like to talk about it just the same. Okay, it says Cynthia OB won thousands on a slot machine at the Prince George County Casino. But when the casino took down her social security number incorrectly, she lost it all. Obi's excitement built when she saw the symbols lining up on the slot machines she was playing. When she realized the jackpot was imminent, Obi was ecstatic. Yeah, it can make you feel that way. It can make you feel that way. But to turn around and have an idiot... You know, that can't even take down numbers, you know, properly. You got to wonder, was that on purpose? Is this some kind of way for y'all to get out of playing? You get some idiot or, you know, is this a scam? See, and then the only, as y'all heard in the video, gave her 15 days to sort this whole problem out. After 15 days, you know, uh, that's it, you know. And, oh, this particular uh, case here actually happened back in January 2019, you know, so what was that, what, three months ago, we in February, I mean, not February, but, uh, yeah, we in March, you know, so I'm wondering if she ever got this taken care of, you know, it'd be good if she would do, let us know something, you know, okay, um, yeah, I said she was aesthetic, everything, Okay, it was very excited. I was very excited. Like I need this money, she said. Right after the holidays, several thousand dollars would come in handy. Opie didn't want to disclose the exact amount, but it happened this past Friday during a night out at the casino with a friend. She's been to a number of casinos and she's always hoping but never expecting to be to a big well, a big win. Following regulations before handing her the cast, MGM stash, uh, staff took down her, her ID and personal information. But they missed misread her social security number by one digit. Oh, man, I'll be mad as hell. I will be mad as hell. And then, okay, why couldn't, you know, she just say, no, that's not right. You know, you writing it down wrong or whatever. Here's my social security number right here. Here. And do it over. Oh, okay. You know, we can just correct that right here. Nah, it's some up with this, man. You know, they, you know, I think they're really trying to uh, get out of paying her. You know, the person whose number they plugged into the database apparently owed the state of Maryland a lot of child support and Obie's winnings were immediately confiscated. <laughs> wow. I'm like, no, all of my daughters are grown. I've never paid child support. I'm like, this can't be right, she said. You know, and of course, naturally, she's going to be feeling like that. You know, I, like I said, I think it's, I mean, how is it that, okay, they keyed all this stuff into the com computer 
and then they find out that it's an error. It's, it's an error. And they can't go back and redo this over again. Just like that. You know? We know how you can make things go away or delete things and go back in this and wait. <laughs> A lot of them type, man, come on. This is bull. You know, I'm not buying this. You know, uh, but let's get back to the story. But the time they realized Social Security, the Social Security number era, it was too late. MGM says it's now out of their hands, citing Maryland law. A spokeswoman, a spokesman told Fox 5 that it's up to Ovi to follow up with the gaming control agency. So instead of her winnings, Ovi left that night with a letter instructing her to sort out it with Marion, what's that? Maryland's uh, Human Services Agency, which handles child support. And she, she says she don't have, she don't even have, she's never paid no child support, you know? She took time off work and spent more than an hour at their offices this week, but last, what's that? But left without any answers. Frustrated. But now I'm at the point, this is insane. You guys are a billion dollar corporation. You do the research. I want fair and square. I just want my money, Obi said. And you got to know, yeah, that's naturally she's going to feel like that, you know. And so they gave her this, this bull right here, this crap, you know. We are aware of this unfortunate era and have taken the necessary steps to assist Ms. Obi in rectifying this issue. Due to MLGCA rules and Maryland state law, we cannot provide an additional payout for this jackpot. However, if she presents the proper identification credentials to the Maryland Gaming Commission, they will provide her with the appropriate payout. We apologize for the inconvenience this has caused Ms. Obi. Y'all bullshit. Then that's just all to it. These people, do, see, they don't want you to win. They want to act like, oh, well, we fair, we square it, and all that old kind of stuff. You know, you win, we pay, and all that. But when it's something big, you know, they don't want to pay. See, they did another woman like this, another black woman. I can't remember where, but this was a story I think happened probably about three or four years ago. Could have been a little longer. And um, I think she won. <laughs> the machine hit like for $42 million. She was playing on something, a high stakes machine. And they talk about the machine made an error. It, you know, it made it. It was a mistake. The machine does not ever pay out that amount, you know. And offer her a steak dinner. No, pay me my money. I buy all the steak dinners I want. You see, I don't never. I don't even know whatever became of that case. But it'd be interesting to know, you know, from Mrs. Ob Miss Obi that uh, let us know what actually happened. Did they ever pay you the money or what? You know. Okay, the casino did give her 200 and free play and a couple of drink vouchers that night, but Obi maintains that she wants her winnings. Exactly. Look how they pump. Man, come on. You know, they think people stupid. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Could have been me. You know what I'm saying? I'll probably be in jail. You know, oh, ain't no telling. Uh, you could you have to pay the money. We'd have to sort that out, you know, straight, you know, straight away. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation. I'd like to know. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. And this is James, and I'm out. Peace.